Hey folks, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com. My garden's frozen up pretty good here. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to just show you the, the unbelievably poor results I'm getting in my cold frame. Um, I'm sort of breaking a cardinal rule here as a garden uh, personality. I'm supposed to show you uh, how I'm able to do things you're not able to do all the time. And uh, I think that's ridiculous. I should show you things that I'm not able to do well uh, due to my conditions because other people have conditions where things don't work well either and it's good to share with that. So this is spinach that I sowed back in October, I think October 1st. And it really hasn't grown at all, all winter long. And I know there's people that get great results uh, growing in the winter, but as I've said many times, I just do not get the sun here. Not the length of day, but the actual direct sun. It's always overcast here in the winter, or very often overcast where I live, very close to the ocean. The sun just doesn't get through. Uh, I've done a video every month following up on these plants, and the spinach looks identical to what it looked last month. Um, and the next two beds are kale, and uh, they actually look worse. Um, it's just been cold. I mean, it's basically double digit below freezing um, most nights. And during the day, it might get something. We'll get the odd day. Some days it's above zero, and sometimes it's below zero. Um, but it doesn't really matter in a cold frame. What matters is how warm can the sun make it in that cold frame. And if there is no sun because it's cloudy, the sun can't make it warm in your cold frame. And that's what's going on. You see my kale here. Uh, just a, it's not dead. It's still alive. But all the main stems, all the big leaves, which were last time I showed the garden looking okay, uh, basically shriveled up and died from I would say dehydration the water just can't run up and down the stems so you'll get a you'll get a sunny day and the plant will want to try to absorb that sun but because the ground where the roots are is frozen the plant can't take up any water it just dehydrates uh, something even worse going on here where I've got this uh, uh, Swiss chard <laughs> something's eating it that's not me <laughs> there's like a mole or a vole or something I don't think mice eat greens like that uh, it doesn't seem to like eating the kale so the kale in this one's the same as the other bed where the, the big stems have all shriveled up and died, but there is some new growth coming up. Um, so I mean there's something going on, but uh, not uh, definitely not prolific. And no, it's not the seaweed. All these plants, if you go back and look at my videos in October, everything was fine and lush and looking great. Uh, this is parsley. Something's actually eating. You can see where it's been chewed down. Something's actually eating my parsley. I couldn't believe a, a vole or a mole would eat parsley, but that seems to be the case. Anyway, that's the state of my garden right now. I hope you found that interesting, and uh, you can compare notes and so on and so forth. If you enjoyed that, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.